Hey guys, if you want to load your data from the server without reloading or refreshing the web page like this. I am using this orange function. And this orange function define here. This function use javascript xml http request. In this section we learn how xml http request work. In the next section we create this orange function for sending and receiving the data from the server in easy and more readable way. If you are interested on this let's jump into the code editor and start the coding. Here I will create three files. First is index.javascript, second index.html and third is database.php file. Okay. And I include our JavaScript file in uh, HTML file. And here is our JavaScript file. Let's create a variable XR and uh, store the object of our XML HTTP request here. Okay. Next, let's console this XR. First of all, what's XML HTTP request? XML HTTP request can send and receive data from the server without reloading and refreshing the page. Okay, let's console this XR. What's the methods of this object? I refresh here. Click on this arrow button to expand. There is all methods which use this XML HTTP request. Okay. Uh, look here, one is unready state change. Let's define what's unready state change xr dot on ready state change on ready state change create a function and call this function on every state change of our http request then what's the state of our http request here is another method it's called is xr ready state uh, this ready state store our re http request states okay there is uh, five states of http request okay first is zero zero mean connection is not established second is one connection established third is two it's mean server received our request fourth is three server processing on our request and last one is four four mean server is finished the process and send back a response and every state this function create a function and call this function on every state change okay Let's create this function and uh, here this ready state store our status. Let's remove from here and write this ready state. Okay. Let's create a connection to the server. First xr.open function. Second is xr.send function open function we declare that which method we used and what's the url and uh, uh, using asynchronous or not okay first i will use a get method here is our url this database file store in this uranium folder on the server okay and third uh, parameter is uh, synchronous this is two values true are false also use true because when our when browser execute this javascript file javascript send this uh, request to the server and not waiting to the response and execute next code on the page okay if uh, it's false the browser wait for the response when the uh, response is come then execute the next code it's not good therefore i will use uh, true here okay and the send uh, method in shared that which method is used get or post use get method simply write here the path of server file here okay we create a connection to the server and say this unread state function when our connection is is equal to 4 then print something i said that uh, if our ready state is 4 console xr.response 4 mean server is finished the process and send back a response and this response we print here okay save your file and open the browser and refresh let's remove this here save your file and refresh again
كيستل اوف جلاس لوك هير ذيس فايل اونلي هاف اور ميسج كيستل اوف جلاس اند ذيس از برينتينج هير وين اور ريدي ستيت از فور ذن برينت ذا ريسبونس ايلس اور ريدي ستيت از نوت فور ذن كونسول لودينج سيف ذا فايل اوبن ذا براوزر اند ريفريش Here is look loading 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 is printing three times here. Okay, the next thing is that if I want to send some data to the server, target method send data from here, and ID is equal to two three. I send ID to the server, and this is the get method. Let's jump into the database file. If is set get method ID. Then echo uh, the get method here ID. If method is get, then print the ID here. Okay, save your file and open the browser and refresh. Look here, two three is printing here. If I use post method, let's change this get to post and remove this data from here and remove this and paste our data here. Okay. If we using post method, the post method send data enclosed in a form. This form like is HTML, and HTML form have a header. When we send a form to the server, this form must have a header. Let's create a header for this xr dot set request header. This set request header function set the header for this post method. Okay. I copy and paste here. Okay, this is our header which uh, this function set on this post method, and now we can send our post method to the server. And server file I copy this if condition and paste here. Change this get to post. Okay, save your file and open the browser and refresh. Again is two three. It's mean when I using get method it's work. When I use post method it it's work. And also use another uh, variable here, like this dot status. Let me define what this status. Okay, and here is an operator. Okay, this status mean when this file is found. Here is some status like uh, uh, two th mean page found, and four o four mean page not found. This is our simple XML HTTP request. Okay, guys. In this section, I discuss all about XML HTTP request. In next video, I will create a function for sending and receiving data in easy and more readable way. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video with others. And click the bell icon to receive the notification of our next video. See you on next video. Bye.